Hello everyone, I'm Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn to capture a screenshot of a web element. In the last video tutorial, we captured the screenshot of browser's visible area. For example, if you see this YouTube playlist screen and if I call get screenshot as method, then it will capture whatever is visible in the browser currently. Instead of capturing the whole window, we can capture a screenshot of a web element. For example, if you want to capture only this YouTube logo or this home button, so that is also possible. So you might be thinking in which case we may need to use this feature. As I mentioned in my previous video that we need to capture a screenshot whenever a test fails or we need the proof of something working fine. Consider the scenario in which you are validating the layout of the web page. For example, you are testing YouTube and you want to check that this logo should be present, then home, short, subscription and you. These options should be available. So you can validate all those developments are present or not. And after that, you can capture the screenshot and you can attach to the report. That is one way. In that case, we can capture the particular web element and attach to report as well. Now, let's see how can we capture a web element. So I'm going to launch a Chrome browser. For that, I'm going to create an object of Chrome driver class and I'm going to load practice software testing.com. So I want to capture only this logo. So first thing I need to find the locator of this web element. So right click, do inspect. So this is one SVG element. This concept I have not covered yet. So instead of SVG, let's capture its parent, which is A. And here I can use this title. So let me use two slashes A and title equal to this value. Let's copy this X path and here I need to use Chrome driver dot find element by dot X path and pass the X path here. We know that this find element will return me a web element reference. So I'm going to store into a variable of type web element. Maybe I will give the name as logo. Now I want to capture the screenshot of this web element. In the previous video, we called one method called get screenshot as on the Chrome driver object. And I have already explained how that method is coming to Chrome driver. Just to quick recap, we have one interface called text screenshot and this interface is implemented in remote web driver. And Chrome driver class indirectly extends remote web driver. So automatically methods from text screenshot will be available in Chrome driver. That's why we were able to use that. But in this case, I don't want to capture everything. I just want to capture the web element. So here, let's try use the web element reference, which is logo dot get screenshot as this method. We are able to access it. And if you see, we have the same output type like base64 file and bytes. Everything I have explained in my previous video, all the concepts remain same. So let me use file first and this is going to return me a file. So let me store into a variable, maybe logo screenshots and I will import it from IO package. So from the previous video, we already know that this screenshot or this file will be kept in the temp folder, which will be deleted automatically when a program is terminated. That's why we need to copy the file from temp location to another location where we can see it later. So for that, I'm going to use file handler, which is coming from Selenium itself. And we have a method copy. So we need to pass the source file, which is logo screenshot. And here I need to pass the path in which I need to copy it. So use new file and I will copy the path from here, which is my project path itself. And this time I'm going to change the name from Chrome 4 to Chrome 5. Let me run the program first and then I will explain from where I'm able to access this method. So if I go to my project directory, you can see chrome5.png. If you double click on it, we can see it has captured the screenshot of the logo. Now let's understand the basic question, how we are able to access this method. This method is present in text screenshot interface. Let's understand more about web element interface. If you control click on this web element, then you can find that this web element is an interface and this web element extends 
search context and text screenshot. We already know that from search context, we have two methods, find elements and find element. And from text screenshot, we have only one method, get screenshot as. So all methods from these two interfaces will be available in web element. And that is the reason we are able to access get screenshot as method with the Wave element reference. If you see text screenshot dot class, and uh, for this method, you can see we have two implementations of this method. If you just click on it, you can see one implementation we have in remote web driver, another one we have into remote wave element. Let's click on remote wave element, and if you go up, you can see this remote wave element implements wave element and some other interfaces. Remote wave element is the fully implemented class of these interfaces. Now let's see how remote web driver and remote web element classes have implemented the same method. So in the remote web driver class, here we have one method execute which takes the command screenshot. In the remote web element, we have execute method and here we have something driver command dot element screenshot this dot id. And this is very obvious because in the remote web element, this implementation is responsible to capture the screenshot of a web element. But here it will capture the project's visual area. Now, if I go to this execute method in the remote web element, you can find this execute method. And here we have written this dot parent dot execute. What is parent here? If you click on this, you can see this parent is nothing but remote web driver. So you got the flow. Remote web element is just sending the different command where it will capture the screenshot of a web element. But everything will happen through the implementation provided in remote web driver class. To prove my point, let's click on it. You can see it has navigated to remote web driver class. So now you understand from where we are able to access get screenshot as method in web element interface. Now let's see another scenario. On this website, we have some web element which is at the bottom of the web page. So if you're trying to capture a screenshot of this header, then we'll say them captured properly. Let's try to find it. So I'm going to locate this header using some locator and I'm going to use text. So two slashes h4 text equal to by brand. Copy this and uh, I will write chrome driver dot find element by dot xpath and pass the xpath value. This is going to return web element and variable name will be header. I will simply copy these two lines paste below and here instead of logo it will be header. Let me rename this variable also and here instead of chrome 5 I am going to use chrome6.png. Let me run the program now and see what happens. So I am going to my project directory and here we have chrome6.png. Double click on it and you can see this header. So Selenium did it work. This logic is not new because if you have any web element which is at the bottom of the web page and if you want to click on that, so Selenium will automatically scroll to the element and perform click. It is the same thing here also. Element were present at the bottom and to capture it, Selenium scrolled to the web element and captured the screenshot. So that's all in this video. Thank you everyone.